What is that? It looks like a pile of mudstone. Whoa, 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 no, 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 oh, 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 this is a catfish, this is a catfish, I can smell him, it smells like a cat. Pretzel, giant pretzel, let's eat it. Ooh, oh, hi, uh, I was just sleepwalking, uh, I thought this was a giant pretzel, but no, it's, um, it's a statue made of wood. It was given to me yesterday by Leah. It's a very special gift. So anyway, yeah, welcome back to Stardew Valley. <laughs> Pablo Punchwood here. I'm a level... Th oh, I'm a level 13 small holder now. I, I've been upgraded. I don't remember what I was before, but level 13 is super unlucky, isn't it? 13's unlucky, but my lucky bow probably counteracts that. I was gonna take my lucky bow off and put my farmer's hat back on, but you know what? I better leave it on until we get to level 14. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get started on our day. So it looks like, oh good, rain all day tomorrow. I'm probably the only one in the whole valley that loves the rain. And the spirit's very displeased today. They were displeased yesterday. Maybe they don't like fall. And we have a new episode of Living Off the Land here with Farmer Green Beans. Give it to me, boss. It's blackberry season. Bushes across the countryside are overflowing with ripe fruit. Just go outside and see for yourself. I will, but I have blackberries. It's nothing new. All right, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Oh, mail. Man, the mail delivery comes super early here. It's from Clint. Um, hello. Sorry, I'm not good at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many, and I thought you might need it. Clint, the blacksmith. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, it's gold. Wowzers. Oh, that's fantastic. Nice. Oh, we can make another uh, sprinkler with that. Oh, here comes Wilson. Right? Okay, yeah, you know what? Let me just get organized here real quick, guys. And then we'll be on our way. Although I know what everybody wants me to do right now, and that is check on the chickenses. Let's go do it. But first, let me just get rid of this hazelnut. Hi, Wilson. You coming down this morning to say hi? You want to go see the chickenses? Let me go put that bar in there real quick. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's go see the chickens. We have baby chicks in the coop inside, and I want to go see what they're up to. Oh, they're awake! Guys, you're awake! A little brown one! And a little yellow! Hi, little fella! What you... Buck! Wait, what? Oh! Oh, Dilly! It's Dilly! He's got a little panel here! Age, one month, baby, with hearts. We get hearts with chickens, just like we do with people. Dilly looks fine. Looks like we can change Dilly's home building. We can also sell her? Oh, gosh, no, we just got her. But wait a minute. 252 gold, ooh. Wow, wait, I paid 800 for you. I'm gonna get some money out of you somehow. They can't have eggs yet. Let's pet little Dally over here. Age one month, baby. Five hearts. Dally looks fine. Now, I did I did do a little bit of research on this. So we can get um, some hay out of the hopper here, which comes out of the silo. This gets filled automatically from the silo. So that was a great tip that you guys gave me about building the silo first so that we can have um, tons of food. Now, I wanna let you guys out. Come on, Dilly Dally, come on out. We're going to make them happy. This is how you make them happy. Open up the door. Oh, they come right <laughs> close. Hey, that Dally. That Dally, where are you going, Dal? Wait, who are you? Get right, right to the grass. Who's the other one? Dilly. Dilly, come on out. What's she doing in there? Dilly, did you already eat? Dilly looks fine. Come on outside. Come play with Dally. Well, she does tend to Dilly Dally, doesn't she? All right, maybe she'll come out later. I don't know. Maybe if they eat inside, they don't come out. Look at, look at him in there. You can see the grass moving around. All right, go play. Don't go. Don't wander too far. Oh, here comes Dilly. Yay, Dilly Dally are outside now. And they go right to that grass. They eat this grass. So apparently, I can, I can uh, plant some grass over here. I know it will grow on its own eventually. But we're going to build some up. But we'll plant some over there for them. And I'm going to... Oh, there goes a frog, too. Look at that. And yeah, we'll get some more hay in here. They have plenty of hay in that silo right now. Well over 100, so it's not like they're going to eat all that just between the two of them. I th oh, I just tripped on you. Sorry. Dilly looks really happy today. Yeah, once you let them outside, they like, they like grazing, and they get super happy. All right. Enough wasting time with the chickenses. We'll come back and check on them later. I'm going to grab my blueberry jelly. Awesome. And I think I'll make another... Uh, oh, let's make a grape jelly. Actually, I'm going to stick with the blueberry. I think we get more money for the blueberry. Blueberry? You like the blueberries? Okay, we'll do blueberry. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to do all the water in here this morning and get ready to head out and head to town. And then we'll see what we need to do from there. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Oh, we have corn. Some more fall corn. Lovely. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Dilly, what are you doing over here by the crop? Hey, get out of there. Don't you get any ideas. Come on out of there. Over here. Dilly's getting uh, awfully close to my crops. I'm not sure what to do about it. <laughs> uh, no, Wilson, I'm not going to cook her up and eat her. Jeez, we're going to get some eggs out of her. We're going to get some eggs, and we're going to sell those eggs, and we're going to make some moolah. So that's the idea. You, you got... <clears throat> I wanted to hoe that spot. One. So we have all these uh, these fall seeds that we got yesterday for that uh, bundle that we completed, right? From that little person in the air balloon. So we're going to plant these right now. I'm going to put my scarecrow down here for the time being. I'm not really sure how we're going to do this. Yep, I knew it. Invisible. There's like an invisible stump there and there's no way to get it. It's a bug. It's in the save file. I looked into that before and there's nothing I can do. Dang it. Well, I guess we'll just have to live with it. Um, I don't have any fertilizer or any sap really to speak of, so I'm not going to bother with the fertilizer. But I am actually going to build a quality sprinkler now that we got that gold bar. So let's go ahead and uh, put this down. Where are you going, Dilly? Dilly's heading for the house. <laughs> don't you get any ideas now? Uh, let's put it on the far row. That way I don't have to go all the way over. So I get all these here. Okay. And tomorrow's going to rain. So I don't have to worry about it, but... Oh, do you look at the dillies in my corn. <laughs> you see the corn moving around? She better not eat any. All right, so I have two extras here. What am I going to do with them? I can't get that little spot. It's going to drive me insane. And we'll just do this. Just put them right here for now. Oh, I got clay. I didn't miss clay. There we go. All right. That's just going to have to do for now, guys. And here comes Wilson, running away from the chicken. It's just a chicken, Wilson. Wilson's guarding the house. It's like, well, Dilly's not getting inside. All right, let's make a bobber. I want to make this uh, new bobber. Cork bobber. This is what I want because it slightly increases the size of your fishing bar. And then I won't be a small holder. I'll be a, a big holder, right? What was it? One, two, three, four, five hardwood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten regular wood. And one, two, three, four... Uh, 10 slimes. Great. There we go. Look at it. It's adorable. And we'll put it right here with our iridium rod tool. And I better make up some more meats. Um, baits. Because I'm running a little low. I like to have at least 50 on me. At all times. And I gotta water these crops. I'll do that when we get back. It's already 4. Oh my gosh. It's already 4. Clint's closed. <laughs> I just gotta go get these geodes processed. All right, let's get to town anyway and go do some selling before Pierre closes. Oh, grab that, wild honey. I think Pierre closes a little bit later. Man, doing a lot of farming today. I know I left the gate open, but I don't care. I gotta go. Those 30 seeds really threw me off. And the... Ch oh, Haley! <gasps> Haley, hi! Where are you going? Let's chat. Oh, I missed it. It said shopping just doesn't sound like like fun anymore. Are you kidding me? Can you repeat that? What's happening to me? Well, I can tell you, girl. It's is called it's called love. Something more important than shopping has entered your life, and it could be the guy with the green bow walking you home. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm telling you, she said that shopping wasn't the same. Hmm. Yep. She's pondering that. I'm gonna let you go and you ponder that. But wait, before you go home, I want to give you this. Summer Spangle. <gasps> For me? Thank you! Seven hearts with Haley, guys. Seven hearts. It's no longer a three-way tie. She just took the lead. All right, Haley, we'll see you around. 5.30. I gotta get to Pierre's. Dang it. Man, I totally blew this day, didn't I? Oh, there goes Melly Elliot. Wait a minute. Does anyone have an extra cart, Pierre? Uh, no. I just sold a whole bunch yesterday. 90 gold? That's not very much. Oh, no! Shop's closed. Come back when Pierre's tending the shop tomorrow. Oh, man, I wasted so much time today. I guess it wasn't really a waste. I mean, I had to do those things anyway, so... That's how it's gonna go now that I'm a chicken farmer. Last night, I dreamt that my left hand had turned into a gigantic buffet. Does that mean anything? <laughs> I, do I look like a dream interpreter? I, I have no idea, but... Um, just, oh, goodbye. Oh, Penny. Let's go say hi to Penny while she's here on the bench. Hi, Penny. Mom doesn't take very good care of herself. 
No, she doesn't. I worry about her. Yeah, I do too, Penny, but I worry about you more. So anyway, yeah, um, Haley's got seven hearts now. You're down one, so, you know, you might want to think about that. Sleep on that tonight, okay? All right, bye. <laughs> All right, let's head down to the beach. Maybe I'll fish in the river a little bit, too, but I haven't been to the beach in a long time. I'm curious. Oh, look at all the worms. Whoa. Look at all the worms. A trilobite? Hold on. What's that? Ooh, and a book. All right, we'll have to go to the library to see what the book's all about. Yeah, but we got a trilobite, which is a bug. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate to the museum. A trilobite is like a prehistoric insect of some sort. We'll go give that to Gunther. You know what? I think he's still open. But, you know, we'll have to make a trip back here in the morning. I don't really don't feel like running over there now. Kind of want to look around this beach. Go get some corals, make some money. You know what? Maybe we'll get two days in today since most of it was just farming. And we'll go do these geodes. Yeah, I'm just going to head home. Oh my gosh, i got to let the chickens in. i got to close the door or they'll be unhappy. Yeah, if you don't close that door for the chickens, they get really unhappy. But first I'm going to fish. Just one fish. I want to try my new bobber. Now, is this a river or is this ocean? Got one. We got one hit. I'll try out my new bobber. Whoa, it's a tricksy one. Oh, this thing is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Look at my, my fishing bar. So huge. What'd I get? Albacore? I've never caught an albacore before. Well, this must be salt water then because albacore is in salt, not in fresh. It's a salt water river. Whoa. Ooh, it's a tough one. Oh, puffer. Is it a puffer? Oh, I lost him. One more, one more. The, the chicken kids can wait, I think. Oh, dang it. Come on. They're biting. They're biting. Yeah, I guess the other indicator would be that I'm getting seaweed out of this river, so it's got to be, obviously, uh, sea. Oh, look at this guy. He's just sitting on the bottom. We're not going to get a carp here, then. We'll have to go up to the uh, lake for the carp, I think. Anchovy! A seven-inch anchovy. My biggest one ever. All right, let's head back. I'm going to check on my chickens' is those poor little guys, they wonder where daddy is. I hope they went inside on their own. That's what the gate is for. Those poor little babies are probably wondering where daddy Punchwood is. Oh, 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 hold up, worms. Another book. And the pet door is wide open. I have to close it or else they get upset. So let's go do it right now. Oh, close it. Let's see if they're inside. I'm here to tuck you guys in. Oh, I, I, I missed it. They're already asleep. Oh, shucks. Oh, that's just... That's not right. Babies need to be tucked in at night, Mr. Punchwood. Yeah, big meanie. <laughs> all right, well, let's just sell all this stuff. I'll make it up to him tomorrow. I'm going to sell my prize anchovy. Um, I'm going to hang on to the albacore. Let's pretty much sell all that stuff. I don't really need it. Okay, watering's done. Chuck the can in here. I don't need it for tomorrow. Oh, it's full. I need more storage space. I don't need it for tomorrow because it's going to rain. Good night, Wilson. Let's see what we did for the day here, guys. Here endeth the fourth of falleth, year one -ith, And we sold a bunch of stuff, made a thousand gold. Pretty good, and no extra skills. Okay, let's continue. Up and at him, Punchwood, at 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, listen to that rain. Music to my ears. I love it. Let me just see if we're still level 13 small holder. We sure are. Dang it. It's at least one more day with this green bow on my head. I was hoping to put my farmer's hat on and keep the rain out of my face. Beautiful, dunny, beautiful dunny day tomorrow. And whispers. These uh, spirits are never happy anymore. All right, let's go. I hate to leave that cozy, warm house with the fire going to go out here in the rain, but we do have a lot of work to do. And let's start out by checking on the chickens. Let's go see if they're up. Oh, they're up. Hello, little guys. Good morning, Dally. Good morning, Dilly. Okay, uh, I will open the hatch to let you guys out. Let me just, you have to pet them every day. A little bock, listen. <laughs> and that makes them happy. Even in the rain? I don't know. Let's see. I'm not sure if they like the rain. It's today, by the way. It's Friday. Mm. All right, I'll leave it open, and they can come out if they wish, but I don't think they're going to. You guys don't want to go in the rain, do you? Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll leave the hatch open just in case you want to go get some fresh air. Bye! 
It doesn't look like any crops are up. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, there is. We got something new here. Bok choy. It's bok choy. Buk, 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 buk. I wonder if the chickens will eat it. Hmm. Boy, that was fast, bok choy. And we have two gold star bok choys. Well, I think I'm going to hang on to a couple bok choy. I like to hang on to some of these. You know what? I'll keep the golden ones, obviously. So I'm going to keep the two golden star bellies, and I'm going to bring four to give away as gifts. And this, by the way, is vegetables. Leafy greens and fiber stalks are healthy and delicious. Oh, good. Healthy and delicious, and hopefully somebody will appreciate them as a gift. We, sh we shall find out. <laughs> if not, I'll just sell them. All right, let's go. Actually, you know what? We should go down to the south. And see if that seller is about. You know that merchant that travels around occasionally? I think this is her day. Alright, there's the seller person. Hello. This, I'm pretty sure I saw this in a bundle. Uh, can you hold one second? I need to check something. Here it is, guys. I found it in the exotic foraging bundle. Some a moro. Some mushroom of some sort. Yeah, let's take it. I'll take it. I'll take your little mushroom all the way down here by the bottom. I know it's expensive, but it might be worth it. All right, goodbye. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, i got to get to town before anything closes. All right, guys, we're at the town square. And I'm going to go right to Pierre's. It's Friday. It should be open, even though there's nobody about. This is because of the rain. Hello, Pierre. Good morning. Let me just come around and say hi. Friend to friend. Most people stay indoors on days like this. It's not good for business. I was just saying that, but tell you what, I have something for you. Actually, I'm going to sell to you. Uh, let's give him the honey, and oh, he won't even buy my maple syrup. Interesting. So I can buy this grass starter and put it outside the coop. Let's do it. I'll buy a couple of these, and that way our chickens can come right out the gate and then chew it up, because I'm probably going to fence them in eventually. I hope two is enough, because it's really expensive. All right, thanks, Pierre. I hope more people come by and buy from you. See ya. Gotta run. All right, let's get over to Clint's real quick here. First, I'll rifle through some garbage. You got a broken CD. Oh, I wonder what George and Evelyn listen to. Frank Sinatra. That figures. All right, right up to Clint's. And there he is. Hey, Clint. How you doing? Hey, thanks for that gold bar. I put it to good use. I made a quality sprinkle. You should come by and see it sometime. Actually, let me come around here and say hi. <laughs> The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay in my shop year-round. Yeah, I know. You're pretty much here all the time, except when you're not and at the bar, right? Depressing, huh? Nah, sounds like a li nice life. Now, by the way, I've got some uh, geos for you. Here, take them. Five. Give you something to do. One. What is this? Stones. Two. Something golden. Uh, Jaguite. Jaguite. Like it. More stones. Are you kidding me? What is that? It looks like a pile of mudstone. Yep, that's what it is. Pile of mudstone. That's what I thought. And earth crystal. Not a bad haul. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you around. All right, let's go see Gunther. Gunther! I got a couple of things here for you, man. You're going to love them. First, I have a old artifact. This is a trilobite. Bloop. Put it right there next to the other stuff. And now we have these other two things. Uh, we'll go look at them closely here. I'm going to put them up with the minerals and weird stuff up here, right? So, Jigalite and Dino Poop. And we got a reward. We got a reward for Dino Poop. Hand it over. Hand it over. A singing stone. It rings out with a pure tone when struck. Ooh, let's strike it. I put it down here. Oh, I can put this in the, I can put this right in your place. <laughs> but it's not staying. I'm bringing it home. I just wanted to whack it. Oh, my hand, of course. Ding. Oh, it makes multiple tones. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm bringing it home. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. My singing stones. Now, I see some books over here. Let's go check the books, and then we'll go check on those other things. Journey of the Prairie King, the smash hit video game. Oh, check this out, guys. A study on diamond yield. So it tells us that... Diamonds seem to only form at my level 50 or greater. So we're already down to 55, right? At level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. After level 50, the frequency of diamond form formation seems to increase to by about 0.000016 per level. Quite a rare gem. Yes, it is. By M. Jasper. 
All right, that's pretty swell. And a brewmaster's guide. Ah, brewing. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. You guys read it. I'm not gonna read it to you because we're running out of time. And I'll come back and read this when I'm ready to brew. But it's good to know that it's here. Awesome. How are we doing for time? 12:40. Good enough. Still want to go fishing. Can I read that? Oh, are you kidding me? I can't get to it. <laughs> it's in the middle of the table. Oh, that's kind of stinky. Well, what the heck? How can I read about it if it's so... You know what? Fine. I'll read about it on the wiki. This museum's the worst. Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye, Gunther. I mean, you can't even read about stuff at this stinking museum. I'm gonna fish right here on the bridge. Maybe somebody will come by. We can chat. I want this river thing, man. I want this river trout... Oh, no. Tiger trout and catfish. And uh, they like the rain. The catfish likes the rain, apparently. So today could be a very good day to try for one. But we also want a carp, right? For Pierre. It's a walleye. Listen, my fishing bar's bigger. Salmon. I don't want a salmon. I got you. I got you. What is you? A new world record salmon. 41 inches, is that what that said? He gads, it's a monster. This one's a little erratic. Whoa, whoa. Please be a catfish or a tiger trout. We got him, we got him, we got him! It's something different. It's a tiger trout, guys! Yay, we got him! It's a rare hybrid trout that cannot bear offspring of its own. Aww. I'm so sorry, but you're mine now. <laughs> so we just caught an endangered species tiger trout. And I'm gonna go donate it to the community center. <laughs> um, hold on a sec. I wanted to check my bobber. Whoa! Man, it goes fast. It's just made a cork. That's the problem. I'm just going to use it all up right here. I got the tiger trout, but now we need that catfish. And this is the time to get him while it's raining. This could be the one. Whoa! Where are you going, fella? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh this is a catfish. This is a catfish. I can smell him. It smells like a cat. Fur balls. Oh, man. He's a tough one. This is it. This is the end of the bobber. Oh, we gotta, 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 Oh, you jerk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh God, that hurt so much. Catfish! <gasps> Your fishing tackle is worn out. <laughs> we got him with the last, with the last bit of that cork bobber, guys. Catfish, look at him. He's awesome. An uncommon fish found in streams. Yep. Hey, we got our tiger trout, too. Let's go. Okay, we're at the lake. Let's see if we can get a carp. And we'll give it to Pierre. Today's the last day for Pierre's quest. So hopefully, even if we catch this carp, we got to get it to him before he uh, locks up his front door. I'm not sure what time he locks the door of the store. What is this? Chub! Dang it. All right, it's 8 o'clock. I guarantee Pierre is closed, so he's not going to get his carp. Oh, uh, there it is. Yep, there it is. I knew it. Well, if he's not going to get it today, then I'll just sell it. First things first, let's go to the community center. And drop off these fish in the old fish tank. River fish bundle. Yes. One tiger trout. And one catfish, please. And what's we going to get? Bundle complete. There goes a the little dude in his air balloon. Rewards. Bait? For the two hardest fish that I've ever caught, I got 30 stinking bait. Hey, bring those fish back. Get, I will, get over here. I'll sell them and get more money. Get, oh, I don't believe it. I've been flim flammed. Yes, exotic forage. Put that in there. And one maple syrup. So two more exotic forage. All right, let's check on Pierre real quick here. Closed. I knew it. 9 p.m. Oh, man, we almost made it. Huh. Oh, no, Elliot's birthday today? Oops. I didn't know, because I did two days together. I don't like him much, but I don't want to miss his birthday. Oh, I can't even get in his shack. Because I only have one heart with him. Oh, well. Well, no major loss there. Not my best friend, that's for sure. Oops. But I do hate missing birthdays. 
These chickens are throwing off my whole routine. Let's check on them. You guys awake? Dilly, Dilly was awake. She's trying to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. I'll try to tuck you guys in tomorrow. Daddy's just a very busy man. Oh, boy. All right, guys. I'm going to keep this largemouth bass because it's a trophy. It's the biggest one I've caught. And I'm going to keep the tiger trout. Obviously, because it's one of the hardest fish I've ever caught. And now, I guess I'm just going to go to bed. Let's put this, um... Let's put this singing stone somewhere in the house. There we go. Ding! And we'll ding it. And then hit the sack. Oh, man, what a day. So here endeth the fifteth of falleth, year oneth. And we made 1,800 gold. And let's see if we got any level up. Nothing! All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.